Hey guys, this is Master DK. Today I would like to try a new little series on this channel, where I do something else that revolves around my love of music. I figured since I talk about certain bands a lot on social media, and how much I adore them, why not talk more about them on YouTube as well? After all, they are very much worth talking about. So I came up with a series where I pretty much rank which album from each of my favorite bands I like the most or the least. For my first entry in this series, I thought it would be only appropriate to start with my number one favorite band, Breaking Benjamin an epic alternative metal group formed in 1999 by Breaking Benjamin Burnley. They have so far released six albums, or seven if you count their greatest hits, which I don't know why some people do, it's not an album, it's a compilation of hit singles and bonus tracks from those singles, and I'm going to rank the ones I love the most and the least. First and foremost, keep in mind that this is 100% opinionated, and while you may disagree with them, it won't change my views. Secondly, I want to clear up ahead of time, this does not mean I think certain albums by them suck. And since this is a top 5 list, obviously one of the albums won't be here, even though I'll still discuss it at the end and why it didn't make the list. So keep in mind that just because an album is number 4 or 5, doesn't mean I don't like the album. I honestly enjoy all of Ben's albums, I just enjoy certain ones much more. So with that out of the way, get ready to sing the Anthem of the Angels, and let's take a look at my top 5 favorite Breaking Benjamin albums. Number 5. Dark Before Dawn, 2015. Now remember guys, I don't dislike this album, in fact, I love it. This is what has become known as Ben's ultimate comeback album, with a whole new set of bandmates, yet bringing back the sound that made Breaking Benjamin so unique. And that's no easy task. The main reason why I enjoy this album is because, the best way I could put it is, it's a more emotional album. I mean there have been others like Dear Agony, but this one is emotional in a different way. It's more uplifting in terms of tone in a lot of them. Songs like Angels Fall, The Great Divide, and Ashes of Eden have really heartfelt tones to them as opposed to the darker songs they usually produce. And they do it amazingly. Angels Fall and Ashes of Eden are easily my favorite tracks on this album. Other ones I love include The Great Divide, Never Again, Close to Heaven, and Hollow. I'm not too big of a fan of Bury Me Alive, and I guess my main issue with the album as a whole is some of the instrumentals. Some of the instruments seem a little too dominant, such as the drums, and the bass lines are nearly inaudible. It's especially apparent in the song Failure, but otherwise, this is an amazing album, and surely satisfied Breaking Benjamin fans who had been patiently waiting for their epic return. Number 4 Dear Agony, 2009 Their fourth album in their discography, and is Ben's first official album where he's sober. And honestly, I recognize the difference, the sound and feel of everything does seem a lot smoother. And while this isn't the only particularly dark album they've made, it is a very emotional take on that aspect, I find. There's a lot more feelings of sadness and despair in these songs. Hopeless, Give Me a Sign, and Without You being prime examples of this. I have to admit that it was difficult for me to determine which one I liked more, Dear Agony or Dark Before Dawn since I find outstanding qualities with both of them. I think this album won primarily because I have just been given more time to grow attached to this one. This was one of the first albums by Ben that really grabbed me, and for the most part, it still does to this day. If I had one complaint about this album, it's that it seems a lot of words and phrases repeat a little too much across the songs. I mean, how many times have you heard the words cold, dead, or the end? Lyrically, it's pretty basic in a lot of areas, but I don't really hold that against them too much. I mean, it takes lots of effort to be varied with your lyrics. But this is definitely an album I won't soon forget. My favorite tracks would be Crawl, Give Me a Sign, Anthem of the Angels, which is my favorite Breaking Benjamin song of all time. I just love the emotion, I love the dark tone, and I love playing it on guitar. It's one of the few songs I've memorized by heart. And I also love Lights Out, and especially Without You. I also love how powerful the beginning and ending of this album is. I find Fade Away to be a great opening song, and the string outro in Without You is also impactful. Overall, an amazing album, but there's still three that I love more. Number 3 Saturate, 2002 Alright, now we come to the very first official album from the group. Even though this isn't necessarily my first album, I still got to hear it very early on, and I have the biggest wave of nostalgia when hearing the songs. One of the primary things I love about this album is the variety. Honestly, I think this album has more variety than any other Breaking Benjamin album. 
It definitely has more of an alternative slash post-grunge feel to it, but they still give off their signature sound, or one that would become known as their signature sound. My only issue is some of the quality is wonky as well as some of the singing, at least to me. For instance, Water could have been done a bit better in my opinion, but even then, it really is a minor issue. My favorite tracks include, actually I'm gonna have to say all, almost all of them, Water being one I like a little bit less. Classic hits such as Polyamorous, Medicate, Skin, Home, and Shallow Bay are just incredible. One track, however, that brings the most childhood memories wasn't even an official track at first, but was hidden at the end as some albums tend to do, and that's the song Forever. Every time I hear even a snippet of it, I am brought back to simpler times. It's an amazing feeling. It's also a very deep song for Ben. If you haven't heard the song yet, it's very underrated and deserves a listen. Number 2. We Are Not Alone, 2004. This is one of my first Breaking Benjamin albums personally, and one I never tire of. It has some of that variety I enjoyed in Saturate, but with cleaner sound. I mean, the variety isn't as good as Saturate, but still pretty varied in musical styles. To me, it's what I wish certain tracks on Saturate were. Not to say Saturate was bad, that is. It's kind of hard to explain. Anyways, We Are Not Alone definitely made way for the darker tones Ben eventually became known for in terms of songwriting, and he does it very well in this album. My favorite tracks are Simple Design, Break My Fall, Forget It, Breakdown, Away, Believe, and of course, Rain. For those who may not know, there are two versions of the song Rain. The second full band version made a year after this album's release. In my opinion, the original is the best. I think the song was supposed to be very deep and emotional, and I feel the acoustic guitar, synth strings, and rain stick captured that perfectly. The full band version really doesn't, at least to me. If I were to pick a least favorite track from this album, it would probably be Sooner or Later. It's not a bad song, I just really didn't get into it like the others. I know it's supposed to be one of their singles, but still. Anyways, this is an album I would not mind popping into a car radio for a long trip. And finally, number one. Phobia, 2006. There is no simpler way to put this other than, this album gives me genuine chills. And in the best way. Not only was it the peak of the darkness and morbidness, the sound in every track does the title of this album justice. I don't know what it is, the sinister harmonizing, the creepy echo effects, or maybe just a mix of both. Almost every song captures this, and it's just so fine-tuned. When I listen to this album, I'm actually feeling the tormented vibes coming from the songs. I experience the music I'm listening to, and that to me makes way for some of the best music an artist or group can offer. My favorite tracks would have to be Diary of Jane, obviously. Breath, You, Evil Angel, Dance with the Devil, Here We Are, Had Enough, and You Fight Me. You probably noticed I only really skipped three songs. Unknown Soldier is a good song, but not exactly a favorite. Same with Topless. My least favorite track is Until the End. I know I'll probably get hate for that, but I'm sorry, I don't get the appeal of that one really. I mean, it has the same amazing tone as the rest of the album, but that's about it for me in terms of that song. But overall, this album is a must-listen and if you intend on getting into Breaking Benjamin's music, and the best starting point to experience the music he creates. And that concludes my list of favorite Breaking Benjamin albums. First of all, I don't know what's going on with my voice. I really don't. I tried everything. I can't get out of this nasally speech. I don't know why I'm having such trouble enunciating in this video. Maybe it's the fact that I decided to do this in the morning, which was probably a bad idea. But before I end this video, I think it would be only fair to talk about the album that didn't make the list, and answer that nagging question you probably have at the back of your heads. Why wasn't Ember on the list? The album that came out just a few months ago. Well, to be honest, I don't really find it to be Ben's best work. I still like the album, just not as much as I thought I would. I found a good number of the tracks to sound the same as far as the instrumentals, and the songs are just not as strong. I will say that my favorite tracks on the album are Feed the Wolf, Psycho, and Torn in Two. I also really like the chorus of Close Your Eyes. Those I don't mind listening to as much as the other ones, but this is just my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people claim this album as their favorite, just not mine. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video regardless, and please, feel free to comment what your favorite albums from Breaking Benjamin are. Are they in the same order as mine, or a different one? Let me know. Thank you all for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, including other videos such as covers, narrations, and original music, feel free to hit subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter as well as Instagram. Both usernames are MasterDK913. Have an awesome evening.